Hello, today we are gonna create this really cool um, radially balanced Aztec fan. So we're talking about radial balance, um, which means that if you split it in half, it's symmetrically balanced, just like we've already learned. But you can also split it in half this way and it is the same on this side and this side. You can cut it in half like this and it's the same on both sides and you can cut it in half like this and it's the same on both sides. And I'm gonna show you how we're going to create that. First, let's talk about the Aztecs. The Aztecs, um, it says, were probably originated as a nomadic tribe in Northern Mexico. They arrived in Mesoamerica around the beginning of the 13th century. Um, these great, the great artists of the Aztec Empire bore the title of Tolteca. This was because the skills that they practiced originated in the ancient Toltec civilization. The title Tolteca means that they were exquisitely skilled craftsmen. They excelled in featherwork, goldsmithing, and jewelry making, and the cutting of gemstones. Just like the standards of Aztec military officers, fans were also a sign of rank or office, like messengers, ambassadors, and merchants, apart from being used in festivities. So we are gonna create this cool fan. It really does work as a fan too. And I am going to show you the first step. So we are gonna be working on a paper plate. We're gonna be working on the back side of the plate and we don't wanna crush it. We wanna keep this nice um, raised form, but we're gonna to try to find the middle of our plate and we are going to make a line and you're gonna go slowly, especially over that rounded part and go all the way across. Of course, these aren't gonna turn out perfect because we don't have a ruler to measure today, but because we can't really use a ruler on um, a paper plate. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go across the other way. So I'm gonna turn my plate and I'm gonna find the center again and go across. All right, so this is what you should have so far. The next thing we're going to do, we're gonna be making a line going across this way and a line going across this way. To make it a little bit easier, I like to start in the center and go this way and go back to the center and go this way. That helps to get it straighter in the middle so you don't end up with a bunch of different um, crisscrossed paths. You kind of want them all to meet in the center. Down this way. And there, we should have eight pie shapes on our plate. So now we are going to um, start the design. I noticed that it said on our poster that um, all lines and shapes lead to a focal point in the center of the work. So I'm gonna start in the center of my work, which is like my focal point on this one that I made. I did a circle. Um, I might start with a circle again. So whatever you draw in one pie shape, you have to draw in all the pie shapes. So I'm making a circle, but it's going to be touching every pie shape. All right, the next thing, um, we, we kind of wanna make our geometric shapes more than rounded type shapes. So I think I am going to start with um, kind of a pumpkin teeth shape. I'm going to make somewhat of a square like that. So now I have to do that same thing in all of my pie shapes. When we color this, we're going to also have to color it exactly the same. So every design that we make is gonna to have to be colored exactly the same. All right, so that got off a little bit, but that's okay. Um, next, I think maybe I will do some zigzag lines. I'm gonna start at the point. So now I have one whole one and two halves, and I'm gonna do that in each of our pie shapes the exact same way. 
If I put a whole bunch of them, it wouldn't be the same as this, so I need to try to do it exactly the same. There. Let's see, what else can I do? I wanna keep going till I get to the edge of the plate. I think maybe I will make, um, just a straight line right here. We don't want to make our design too small either because we have to color all of this in. So we need to have it big enough that we can fit our um, regular size markers in it. And I think for the last thing, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do some um, triangles going this way. Three of them in each section. Remember, we don't want to collapse this because we need to keep it um, rounded so our fan will work. If you flatten it out, it gets kind of floppy. There. So I think my design is complete now. Now I am ready to start coloring in my design. Okay. So we're going to use the regular size markers to color this in. And if you notice this one, it is colored in really well. So make sure that, you, that the marker that you're choosing is one that is in good working order before you start coloring. One way you can do that is to by looking at like the tip of your marker and making sure that it looks kind of new. So I'm gonna get some markers and I will come back with um, coloring. Remember, each section has to be colored in the same, so I had to color in all of my pie shapes the same color for my design. So all of this is blue, orange. You can't try to do some one color and some another color because then it won't be radially balanced. So we do need to color everything in the same color. So this design is this color, this design is this color. Does that make sense? All right, so I'm gonna get my markers and I will be back to start coloring in the design that I made. All right, I am going to start coloring this now and I will probably um, fast forward this while you're watching it. <music>
So here is my completed design. I think it looks really nice and bright and colorful. The next step that we need to do is we are going to make um, color a craft stick. And I'm going to use the same colors I did on my um, fan and create some sort of a geometric design. So I will get started on that and show you that really quick. So here is my completed stick. The next step is to hot glue on the stick and the feathers onto the back of the fan. So I am going to go do that and I will be back to show you the finished results. All right, so here is my finished fan. I think it turned out really um, fun and festive. I like all these bright colors on it and it really works as a fan. <laughs> 